next up on the create tab here we have photo calendar and again it works the same as these did let's click on photo calendar you'll have an option to choose between several different themes and again notice the themes that have that little blue triangle these are ones will have to have the content downloaded and it's going to automatically fill with the selected image you have one option here 12 months print locally we don't have any option for printing these out at an online printer now there used to be an online printer that would do these kinds of calendars there currently isn't one available for this particular layout I think that was done through Kodak and Kodak has ended their online presence as the company has gone belly up since everybody's using digital now instead of film which is too bad so again just come down here and choose the theme I'll just choose one this time that doesn't need anything downloaded to save us a little bit of time I think the travel one if they even have it on here there's, there's wedding there's trips storyteller that's a little bit different I'll choose this one pretty straightforward choose OK and it's going to then create the calendar for us there we go title page and you'll need to of course reset your settings in here to match the year you want to work with now it's set to go to the next year and then one month previous to the next year it figures we're doing a January 2015 which is the you know the next next calendar year obviously and then it does the previous month to that 2015 that makes sense and as you can see here it has grabbed our pictures and used the pictures as the picture for the calendar and it's going to fill in all this stuff with the appropriate dates and so forth and then here's a cover page you can change the text in here title text and so forth so you can come in and make some adjustments on that all the things we've seen previously now on layouts we have different layout looks in here for the home page or the front page the calendar pages are the same but the home page here, the front page can be a little bit different. There we go, a little different front page look. Front page look, there we are. Scroll down, one photo, three photos, two photos, several options. And again, we have graphics in here based upon the theme that we selected. We have different backgrounds. Just collapse that, different, actually, there we go, different frames available in here and graphics available as well. And just like all of their other creations, when you're happy with that, just go ahead and click on Save, and you can then save that whole creation. Let's take a look at our pages again. Let's come down here to January 2015. There's a picture at top. I can change the graphics on a page-by-page -page basis as well. I'm just going to change the size a little bit on there. There we go gives me a larger frame in behind I could rotate you know anything else I feel like doing I can come in here and I can put a a different frame on this if I, if I wanted to there's a frame I can actually put a new photo in here too as you can see there just drag and drop a new photo on there just search for it and find that photo or hit the delete key and remove that piece and then the calendar down here will match the correct dates so if I zoom in on that as you can see there there's the correct calendar for June 2015 and just like we've been looking at previously this will then be saved there we go saved as a PSE file and it's going to contain one Photoshop file one PSD file Photoshop elements file for each page of the calendar and we'll let it go ahead and do that. See so it's saving each page in here again each page is going to be saved as individual files. See it goes back to a little one-to-one -one pop up occasionally there we go. Those are the pictures that are being saved as well. It saves everything into one folder 
so it's all contained into one location. You don't have to go and find all the different elements. They're all saved together in one folder. And depending upon how complex your layout is, you know, this could take a little bit of time or no time at all, depending upon, again, how much you've done with that. But there you go. That is a look then at creating a calendar. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.